What's going on everybody? Welcome to Cook's Corner. Today we're going to do pork chops, but it's 175,000 degrees outside, so we're not going to do them on the smoker like I'd like to, but that's okay because we got a good way of doing it in the air fryer. We're going to use a little bit of smoked paprika. It smells pretty damn good. We're going to use it today. Get it on our pork chops. So we're going to use paprika. We're going to use cayenne pepper so there's our there's our color right there and a little bit of spice garlic powder onion powder salt pepper and a little bit of brown sugar and these are gonna be amazing pan up meg here at cook's corner we don't really measure we just kind of put in what we like everything i just showed you is what i like so we're just gonna kind of guess at it. I like cayenne pepper, so we're gonna add a lot of it. Not, you know, we're not gonna go crazy, but we got two thick pork chops. Have you seen these? Look at these things. But they're pretty dang thick. So we need a lot of color. And this smoked paprika is gonna give us all the, all the color and flavor we're looking for. We're gonna add some onion powder. I don't wanna go terribly crazy here but you know you want to be able to taste it garlic powder this crazy Himalayan salt comes out quick so you only need a couple of turns and pepper all right and last but not least brown sugar I normally don't like adding sugar to my anything, but for some reason it works well with pork. And we're not gonna add a lot, you know, a little, so a little will do to you. Boom. A little bit, a little much there, right? Oh, things are falling apart. <laughs> all right, once you got it all in your bowl, you're gonna mix it up pretty good. Just get your hands in there. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to get a little dirty, get a little spicy. All right, uh, so then we're just gonna sprinkle it on. This is called, what we're doing right now is not just a rub, we're kind of doing a dry brine. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna season it right now and I'm gonna leave it out for 30 minutes after we're good and seasoned. And you make sure to do all the sides Put them in the air fryer at uh, 375 for six minutes on one side and then come back for another five minutes maybe four minutes on the other side until we reach 165 internal temperature so like i said we're going to do 375 for about six minutes and then flip them I said six minutes it thinks it's four i think it's six Today's sides are going to be corn and asparagus. Why? Because that's what we have. You can do this with whatever you want. We're at three minutes. I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of apple juice and water. Now we're going to flip it and spray it. it smells good. Get there. Spray it on here. But we're going to flip it. four minutes and then check the temperature all right so we're going to check it to make sure it's up to 165 it's not here at cook's corner things don't always go to plan so we cooked it on the other side for four minutes and it hasn't quite reached the internal temperature of 165 that we're looking for we're sitting at about 140 so we're going to do it for another four minutes and i'm going to check it after that i think we'll be we finally reached our internal temperature of 165. Have a look. They're looking great. And they're right at the right temperature. All right, so we've reached 165 internal temperature, maybe a little bit higher, which is fine. We're gonna let them rest for five minutes. So we're basting our asparagus with a little bit of butter, uh, lemon pepper, and some cheese. 
Let's see what we have created. Oh my goodness. That looks great. Oh, it smells great. Let's see if it tastes great. Oh, mm, and it's spicy too from the cayenne pepper. And I got the smoke flavor from the paprika. I am a happy camper. This is amazing. Why don't you guys try it out for yourself? And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one.